This was at most a two-hour occasion, and behind it, funds in the excess of $900 million to deliver 250 megawatts of power, the single biggest such project to date for Uganda. Two things were most echoed. Lessons learned in this project and the amount of economic impact that can be created when the public and the private sector come together for business. A momentous accomplishment. It will open the door for continuing and expanding progress. It is not only a transformative development in the economic life of Uganda and of the continent, but is also an inspiring model of how such change can best be accomplished. And I think this is an important lesson to be learned because ultimately the goal is to improve the quality of life of people in the most complete manner possible. But for President Museveni, when you have such a magnet like the Aga Khan, you can ask for more. Your Highness, I commission you, you go and organize more consortium. <laughs> but also get me people in a value addition. We have got a lot of other areas where we need investments. To the other key players in the project, Bujagali was not a very ordinary decision. Putting together all these partners and living up to their expectation was not a bed of roses, was it? It certainly wasn't. Uh, it was uh, quite a challenge. Number one, for the uh, other time that we started this project, when the government invited the expression of interest, this was in 2004, when most of the international uh, developers were retreating to their home markets after a challenge in one of the projects in India. So as a result for us, it was quite a task trying to look and convince investors to come and co-invest with us. Why did you choose to become part of a risky project in Africa? Well, I think this is a project that, that has, uh, is very important to Uganda, it's very important to, to uh, Africa. But then also, uh, this is a, a good project, the economics are, are good, it's replacing a lot of you know, uh, power that has been, been uh, generated by diesel, which is very, very expensive, and now you can do it cheaper, so it's also a good economic situation. Bujagali was by nature a problem project to the beginning, and yet uh, Akfid decided to take it on. How so? I think a large kudo is to go to the government of Uganda. Uh, we, we, have, we have negotiated with several countries around the world and I have to say although they were very hard with us as far as the money side is concerned, we have yet to meet a team that was so well informed with so much competent skills that we were able to deliver on this project in a very short time. Bujagali will be a property of the investors for 30 years and they expected to recoup their 900 million dollars in 13 years and make money for another 17 years before it reverts to the government of Uganda. The investors have another 30 years to deliver power to Ugandans. If indeed there will again be a deficit after two years, Bujagari is then but a scratch of the 2,000 megawatts aspiration of the president. Samo Setumba, NTV, in Bujagari.